Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating journey of human evolution, a story that spans millions of years. Over countless generations, our ancestors have shaped and been shaped by the forces of nature, leaving behind clues that we can now piece together. From humble beginnings, our species has risen to become the dominant force on Earth, capable of both incredible feats of ingenuity and devastating acts of destruction. Our journey begins in the dense, verdant forests of prehistoric Africa. Here, millions of years ago, lived creatures that were both strangely familiar and strikingly different from us. These were our earliest ancestors, the first primates, who would give rise to the incredible diversity of monkeys, apes, and ultimately ourselves. Imagine a world teeming with these early primates swinging through the canopy, their calls echoing through the trees. Over time, driven by natural selection, these early primates began to diversify, adapting to different environments. Some remained in the trees, their descendants evolving into the monkeys and apes we know today. But one lineage, our own, ventured into the open savannas, a world full of both opportunity and danger. It is here that we find the first clues to our origins, the fossilized remains of creatures that walked upright, their hands free to use tools. In the unforgiving crucible of the African savanna, a new chapter in human evolution was being written. Here, our ancestors faced a relentless struggle for survival, their fate hanging in the balance with every passing season. The savanna was a land of both feast and famine, where predators lurked in the tall grasses and resources were often scarce. To survive, our ancestors had to adapt to evolve new traits that would give them an edge in this challenging environment. One of the most significant of these adaptations was bipedalism, the ability to walk upright on two legs. This seemingly simple change had profound consequences, freeing the hands to use tools, carry food and care for young. With bipedalism came other changes, subtle shifts in anatomy that would have a profound impact on our evolution. The pelvis became shorter and broader, providing support for the upright posture. These adaptations allowed our ancestors to cover vast distances, to migrate across the savanna in search of food and water. The challenges of survival in the savanna demanded greater intelligence, the ability to plan, to cooperate, and to outwit both rivals and prey. As our ancestors ventured further into the savannah, they entered a world teeming with both opportunity and danger. To survive, they would need to harness their intelligence to develop new skills and technologies that would give them an edge. One of the most significant milestones in human evolution was the development of stone tools. These early tools, crude by today's standards, were revolutionary, allowing our ancestors to access new food sources and defend themselves. Imagine the scene. A group of early humans gathered around a rocky outcrop, carefully selecting stones with the right shape and size. With a few deft blows, they chip away at the edges, creating sharp flakes that can be used for cutting, scraping and piercing. These early tools, known as Oldowan tools, were simple but effective. They allowed our ancestors to butcher carcasses, accessing the nutrient-rich meat and marrow essential for survival. The development of tools marked a turning point in human evolution, signifying a shift from simply reacting to the environment to actively shaping it. As our ancestors became more skilled toolmakers, their brains continued to evolve, growing larger and more complex. As the millennia passed, the hominin lineage continued to diversify, branching out across Africa and beyond. Different groups adapted to different environments, evolving distinct physical and behavioral traits. Among these groups were the robust Australopithecines, characterized by their powerful jaws and large teeth, adaptations for grinding tough plant matter. But alongside these robust cousins, another lineage was emerging, one that would ultimately give rise to our own species. These were the early members of the genus Homo, characterized by their larger brains, more gracile features, and increasingly sophisticated tool use. The fossil record tells a tale of two paths, two different evolutionary strategies. The robust Australopithecines, despite their impressive adaptations, eventually died out. The early members of Homo, however, possessed a key advantage adaptability. Their larger brains and more flexible behavior allowed them to thrive in a wider range of environments to exploit new resources. 
It was from this lineage, the survivors, the innovators, that our own species, Homo sapiens, would eventually emerge. As the early members of Homo flourished, they began to spread out from their African homeland, venturing into new lands and encountering new challenges. This migration, driven by environmental pressures and a thirst for exploration, would take them across continents and ultimately lead to the colonization of the globe. Imagine the scene. Small bands of early humans, their belongings strapped to their backs, setting out into the unknown. They follow herds of animals, their movements dictated by the seasons and the availability of food and water. Their journey takes them across vast savannas, through dense forests and over towering mountain ranges. They encounter strange new creatures, navigate unfamiliar landscapes and adapt to a wide range of climates. Along the way, they leave behind traces of their presence, stone tools, campsites and even the fossilized remains of their dead. These clues, scattered across the globe, paint a picture of a species on the move, driven by a restless spirit and an unyielding will to survive. Some groups settled in new lands, establishing populations that would evolve in isolation, giving rise to regional variations in human physical and cultural traits. This epic migration, spanning tens of thousands of years, is a testament to the adaptability, resilience and sheer determination of our ancestors. The story of human evolution is not a linear progression, a straight line from ape-like ancestor to modern human. It is a complex and nuanced tale, full of twists and turns, dead ends and remarkable comebacks. As our ancestors spread across the globe, they encountered other hominin species, some of whom had branched off from our own lineage hundreds of thousands of years earlier. One such species was Homo neanderthalensis, the Neanderthals, a group of robust and resourceful humans who had adapted to the cold, harsh climates of Ice Age Europe. For thousands of years, Neanderthals shared the European landscape with our own ancestors, their lives intertwined in ways we are only beginning to understand. Genetic evidence reveals that modern humans and Neanderthals interbred, their DNA mingling and leaving a lasting legacy in the genomes of many people alive today. But the Neanderthals were not the only hominins we encountered. In the remote Denisovans, a mysterious group known only from a handful of fossilized remains and their genetic signature, which persists in some modern human populations. Um, as our ancestors spread across the globe, they carried with them not just their genes, but also their culture, a complex tapestry of knowledge, beliefs and practices passed down from generation to generation. This cultural evolution, running parallel to our biological evolution, would prove just as significant in shaping our species, driving innovation, fostering cooperation, and ultimately setting us apart from all other animals. Imagine a group of early humans gathered around a fire, their faces illuminated by the flickering flames. They share stories, their voices rising and falling in the night, passing on knowledge of hunting techniques, tool-making skills and the history of their people. This ability to communicate complex ideas, to share knowledge and experiences, was a game-changer. Allowing for the accumulation of wisdom and the transmission of cultural innovations across time and space, with language came the ability to cooperate on a larger scale, to coordinate hunts, to build shelters and to defend themselves against predators and rivals. It allowed for the development of social structures, hierarchies and alliances laying the foundation for the complex societies that would emerge later. Early humans decorated their bodies with pigments, created intricate cave paintings and fashioned jewellery from shells and animal teeth. And so we come to the final chapter in our story, the emergence of our own species, Homo sapiens, in Africa some 300,000 years ago. These early humans, though physically similar to us, possessed a unique spark, a capacity for innovation and creativity that would set them on a path to global dominance. They developed sophisticated tools, crafted intricate jewellery and created breathtaking works of art on the walls of caves. They mastered fire, unlocking new possibilities for cooking, warmth and protection. But perhaps their most remarkable achievement was the development of language, a system of communication so powerful that it would transform our species and ultimately change the course of life on Earth. 
With language, humans could share ideas, coordinate activities, and pass on knowledge from one generation to the next. This ability to communicate complex thoughts and concepts allowed for the development of culture, technology, and social structures of unprecedented complexity. As Homo sapiens spread out from Africa, they encountered other hominin species, including Neanderthals and Denisovans. Thank you for joining us on this journey through human evolution. From our humble beginnings as primates in the forests of Africa to our current status as the dominant species on the planet, the human story is one of adaptation, innovation, and an unyielding will to survive. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the natural